Hey, welcome back, sports fans. Mike Kretz here. The big weekend for basketball in the Western Slope continues. We've got five games to get to, so what are we waiting for? Let's get to it right now. All right, welcome to Bronson. The Lady Mavs hosting Chandron State. CMU looking to stay unbeaten in six and undefeated in Armac play. Ellie Walters drives in, kicks out to Daniela Turner, and she, she knows how to score field goals from there. Yeah, not a ton of highlights from Chadron tonight, but here with the short clock, and Sam Hinkle wrists it at home the buzzer right before the shot clock expires. Turner drives in on her left, won't be able to get this one to go. Morgan Myers tries to come in and one movement get it, but she can't get it either. And then look at Turner, collects the offensive board, goes back up with it. Two more for the Boca Raton native. More Turner, this time she bounces across, and the Mavs, they would go around the world to Sierra We Mira and watch that take. Yeah, get out of the way and get those buckets later near the pass. And she, I'm thinking inside, instead, she finds a wide open Morgan Myers who has the mid range game going. Here, Turner puts her defender on skates again, going for the layup, but it won't go. This time, though, Myers will be able to come in and will be able to finish the job right at the end of the third quarter. To the fourth, Hinkle is going to have her shot stuffed. She manages to find it, kicks it back out to Brittany McCauley, who's happy to let the three ball go. But the Mavs, they get right back on it. Kelsey Siemens finds a sweet cutter named Kylan Rigsby, who's thankful this holiday season for that assist. Sydney Brandon is going to find Turner, and she is going to knife in and score. Daniela Turner led the Mavericks in points for the fourth consecutive ball game tonight with 21. Sydney Brandon, the glove, led the team with steals and five. She had five tonight. There's one of them who would eventually get the fast break bucket to go. Mavs still undefeated in the Armac after tonight's big 73 to 41 win. Hey, some good news, bad news, men's basketball fans. The bad news is my memory card was corrupted tonight, so I don't have video highlights for you. It's a shame because Colton Peterson and Georgie Dancer were doing big things out of Bronson. But the good news is the Mavericks won 84 70. Colton Peterson led the team with 18 points. We'll get another shot to do better this upcoming Friday when both the men's and women's team host Western Colorado University. It's